starts at 5 p.m. Good evening, I'm Rick Garcia. And I'm Pat Harvey. A tragic twist to the rise and fall of a former football player from Reseda. Devon Hall was the pride of his family. Now he's accused of murdering his mother with his bare hands. So what went wrong? CBS 2's Amy Johnson is live at the LAX courthouse with the story you'll see only on 2. Amy. Pat, this family says that they are heartbroken, that they have lost two loved ones. One was killed, and they say they lost the other through mental illness. They hope that their loss is not in vain, that through their story, others will get the help they need. 29-year-old Davon Hall was in court facing murder charges, accused of killing his own mother, 48-year-old Alicia. We lost two family members. Relatives have flown in from around the country to say goodbye and to support Davon. We still love him. I'm here to support him as his family. Police say Davon attacked his mother back on April 24th in her Baldwin Hills home. The family pulled her off life support four days later. It was like a switch that had gone off and I didn't recognize my cousin anymore. Davon grew up playing football. He played in college and a short time in the NFL. The family says he suffered multiple concussions. He turned into something that became vicious. And that was the sport he was in. The more vicious, the more accolades, acc accolades you get. Football is a very, very rough sport, and it can have uh, deleterious consequences that impact um, health, mental well-being, and can acutely impact other people's lives as well. Family members say Davon had been homeless, but spent the last two months with his mother, who was trying to help him. There has to be a way to be able to get people help that need it without demonizing them or without deeming them a dangerous society, because they're not. They just need help. She can't die in vain. No other family should suffer like what we're suffering now. Services will be held tomorrow for Alicia and Rick. Uh, Davon Hall will be back in court on May 31st to face those murder charges. I'll send it back to you.